Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It might look like my makeup is very glam, like we have a nice liner, there are some good things going on. It was a journey. You guys, I'm here to give you the full scoop on a new foundation from Maybelline. They sent this my way, I could not resist. We're just gonna hop right in and do like an abnormally not long intro because I do want to just get to applying the makeup and then we are doing a full wear test to see if this lives up to the plump claim. And you know what? We're just going to hop right on in. Three, two, one, up close, bare face. Let's get to the makeup. Well, hello up close. Okay, so I have just massaged into my skin the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Everyone that I turn on to this cream is obsessed. Like we're all like, oh my God, I know. Like, don't you wanna just like roll around in a vat of it? Like I do, like it's the best. I think that this is better than La Mer. And I've been a La Mer fan for a long time on and off because you only need like the tiniest little bit. And if you have dehydration on the surface specifically, it usually will tackle that in an instant. I'm just a really big fan and I just have to give it a shout out because every time I put it on, my skin immediately just like dews up and juices up. So I am gonna prime my face and then we'll get to the good part. I'm actually super excited to try this foundation. The big reason being A, I usually get along well with Maybelline foundations, but B, the last foundation I tried of theirs, I wanna say it was from the Dream line as well, like within that range. Excuse myself, tan. I am blotch, blotchy, blotch, blotch, central. Oh my God, this looks terrible. Um, my self tan is not fading evenly. I really loved the way that that foundation looked, the way it wore. I wore it several times and then I hit a dead end because something in the formula just like did not work out for me and made me break out quite a bit, which was so upsetting because I'm like, I love this. It's like the perfect foundation. Why is it doing this? And I would continue recommending that foundation as often as I could because you guys, I'm reasonable. I know that just because something ingredient wise does not work out for my skin type, does not mean it won't work out beautifully for someone else. I tend to have very finicky skin when it comes to SPF. The only sunscreen I have found that does not totally wreck my skin is, well, there's one, three lab, but that's like a bajillion, quadrillion dollars for a thing, I'm not doing that. And then I think it's L to MD, that's the one. Okay, so guys and gals, let's get into the dream. Right here, we have the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. Now I have swatched this on my skin already. I have found my dreamy perfect shade. I am so excited that this actually matches me and oxidizes to almost match me even better. It's really, really great. So we're gonna go in with the shade Creamy Natural. This is number 50, comes in a pump. You know that I love that. Let's go over pricing. <clears throat> Class. Listen up. This is a radiant liquid foundation. It visibly improves the natural look of skin, giving you a natural looking glow. This is a lightweight foundation formulated with hyaluronic acid, my very favorite ingredient. Oh my gosh, it attracts moisture to your skin, which what that does, it's like the Cinderella's glass slipper of skincare, if you will, because it doesn't last. Like, I mean, with repeated use, you can like keep getting the effect, but it attracts moisture to your skin and kind of just plumps you up like a little bit. Not greasy, not oily, won't make you break out. When you hear acid, you think, oh God, oh no, it's not an exfoliant. So that's great, that's in there. It says it has collagen, it hydrates and smooths skin. Medium coverage foundation finish for the look of plump skin. I want some plump skin, plump it up. Okay, benefits. Get ready to face the city with radiance. I'm not going anywhere, so I will be facing absolutely no one. I'll still be radiant. Wow. Experience medium coverage that your skin will never want to take off. Yeah, that's about right. Like me at 12.30 at night, like having the inner monologue, like, well, would it be that bad if I skipped, you know, washing my face? And then I think about all the steps and then I'm like, oh, I'll probably break out in the morning because my skin is like that mad at me when I don't take off my makeup. And then I think about the article that I read about skin accelerating and how like you age yourself, like every night you don't wash your face. And this is my brain all the time. Welcome to it. Hi, I'm Tati, subscribe. Ah, my head. Oh, it hurts retaining all this beauty knowledge. 
Okay, I need to stop talking. We get it. They really are selling you on plump, hydrated, beautiful skin, medium coverage, $12.99. It's a dream, hopefully. Okay, so we're gonna go in. I'm gonna take my Blendiful. It is my preferred way to apply product. You could use this with a brush. You could use this with a beauty blender. Use what you like. This is what I like. Ooh, freaking love at first pat. <sighs> I am sensing, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I am sensing like a really good makeup day and I feel so confident and excited about it. You guys, I hope this wears just like the other one that made me break out and that it's like, okay, I always refer to makeup as like relationships, like romantic relationships. This would be like, you know, you break up with someone and you're like, ugh, I hated that he was like X, Y, Z. But I really loved this. He was romantic, he did this, he did that. And like, there are things that you love and like, you know, former relationships teach you like what you want and also what you don't. And you know what? <laughs> Makeup is no different. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm gonna stop talking and just blend this in. Forgive me, I'm in a really weird mood. I usually hide it better. I don't think you guys mind, do you? Do you mind? I don't mind. Mm. I honestly, I can't tell if I like it or if I don't, I kind of like it. You know, my prediction just like, what, 30 seconds ago? I take it back, I don't know. I really, really love the way that the Wet n Wild one just like sinks into the skin and doesn't look too detectable on the surface. This is a little makeup-y. It's not bad. Mm. I'm gonna continue the rest of my face. We're gonna do this and speed it up so that you don't have to listen to me telling bad jokes and weird stories that mean nothing. And I will be right back. And then of course, we're gonna do check-ins. Oh my goodness, my lips look like very giant and not in like a comfortable way that I want them to. I put on this gloss that I just got. It's called Glossy Plumping Lip Gloss from LA Girl. I had to take it off because it was burning like at a level 10. If it's like a little like I can tolerate that, but when it's like full fiery flames on my mouth, I'm just like, and then now, like everything that I put on it is just making it look like I just had like, I mean, it kind of looks like I just had like a giant makeout session. Like, you know when your lips are like, 
Like, I don't know. Hello, get back to what this video is about. It is about the foundation and I am actually kind of shocked, you guys. Of course, we are doing a wear test. We're gonna see how this goes down. Maybe it will warm up with the skin. Right now, it's a lot drier and more visible on the skin than I had hoped for. Now, I have been trying out a lot of foundation recently and filming some of it, collecting notes on others, and I am gonna be doing a recap, as I always do, of like the best new foundations, the worst new foundations, you know, for each skin type, finish, coverage, like all of that. That will be coming. But when I do that, I end up doing a lot of research and then I'm experiencing a new formula so close together that I'm like, yeah, you know what? The skin day, you know, two days ago was so much better. I can, you know, definitely see that this is a thicker just, you know, and it's not even that much more coverage. I don't know. I'm not loving it. Ah, I love a lot of foundation from Maybelline. I love their concealers. Their Age Rewind Fit Me Concealer. You know, they do such a great job with skin products, like even their powders. So I am kind of shocked. Anybody else? Have you guys tried this? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna go do my day. I will do some check-ins and some close-ups and we will just see how it goes from there. All right, see you in a little bit. You guys, I really wanna like this foundation, but right now, every time I walk by a mirror, I'm like, ew, like powder, but weird because you also look like dry. What is happening? Like it just, it's a weird, do you see? Like it's kind of exaggerating things that I don't want it to exaggerate. So here's what I'm thinking. I've been running around like a mad woman. I am packing because I'm going to Seattle tomorrow. So I've been like up and down the stairs, packing, 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 working up a sweat. Maybe it's the fact that I've just been like, ha, 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 you know, like all around all day. It's been a busy day. I want to give this one more shot. I want to give another go at it because I want to like this. But what this is doing so far, it's a little bit blotchy and it just looks makeup-y. I mean, it could also be the self-tan. Sometimes that dries my skin out to high heaven, but I guess I just don't have like a fully formed opinion and I want to wear this another day when I'm not like basically doing aerobics in my house from packing. So I will see you guys <laughs> day two. We're gonna time travel and we'll test this out again and hopefully have a better time with it. What's up you guys? So I am now here in Seattle. I wore it again today. I definitely have been doing a lot of <sighs> like rubbed my makeup straight off. So today, the same thing happens every time. It gets like really like collected right in here. And I do not like that. I don't like that for a minute. Um, This is a pass. So this whole review that I was so optimistic about ended up being a flop, but that's okay. Maybelline has a ton of products that I absolutely adore, love. They're a great brand. So I don't want you guys to think this is a negative on the brand. It's just the formula does break apart, is a little too hydrating, ends up being kind of patchy. I really gave this a solid go and a solid try. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. I do want to let you know that I am going to be doing a 10 minute blendful challenge. Actually, I already did it, but it is the last video that I filmed in LA and it will be the last video that you will see in my studio for a while because I do plan on filming up here. It's gonna be like throwback, old school kind of style because I have my camera. I tested out lighting in front of a window and you see my living room. So it's like, it feels like we're brought back to a different segment and a different chapter of my channel. It's kind of cool. So I wanna hear from you guys what kind of videos you want to see. I did bring some of my makeups. I'm gonna show you. I have a bunch of new drugstore. I have this really crazy falscara. I don't even understand. Um, a new way to lash. I thought that could be kind of fun. One minute face perfecter. I bet this is a straight lie, but we could see. I have a friend's palette. How random is this? What is that? I have a um, fragrance lock so I can smell good for no one. Ooh, I really wanted to try this out. This is boob glue. What a better time to see if I can get my clothes to stay in the right place. Kinda looks like a glue stick. I have powder lipstick from Wet n Wild. New foundations right in here. Primers, powders. Oh my God, this is hilarious. You guys need to see this. <laughs> my actual mood right now. Look at Eric and Sabrina, the twins, the clown, 
and me not having it, I'm just like, yeah, no, dude, I just, I'm, I'm not into this. I'm not into whatever animal you're trying to convince me that is, but I just thought this was so funny. I have never liked clowns <laughs> ever. They freak me out. Oh my gosh, let me just show you. I'm being really random right now, but I never get to kind of do this type of a thing. My mom, I could cry because this is just so, so special to me. This is what she gave me for Christmas. I still need to hang it. She's an artist, she's a painter, she works with oils, she works with watercolors. Her works are just stunning. And this, I don't know if you can see, literally has the glitter, the metallic row. This is the Tati Beauty palette. And she used a watercolor set of my grandfather who sadly passed away a few years ago. He was an artist as well and it's just like, it's. I just love this so much. Isn't this the coolest? I love this. So yeah, I have like, I have stuff. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go wash the grease off my face, get some rest. You should be doing the same. Make sure you're resting, hydrating, taking care of yourself. I love you so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed, please do ring the bell. I will continue posting. I could use the distraction of filming. So please leave your requests. I'm happy to do really anything and kind of maybe like do some older format videos and do some educational tutorials and you know tip videos q a's just anything you guys want to see right now let me know and i will see you guys in thursday's video the last one shot in la and it is a full face in 10 minutes timed with commentary in the background that honestly stressed me out from James. Like, yeah, you gotta see that. So I will see you on Thursday and leave those requests below. I love you guys and God bless, have a good night. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.